managing the building. We wanted to, we wanted to play with a lot of spirit, and uh, we wanted to get it started on the defensive end, and we pretty much did that. Um, you know, it was just a grind sort of game. Um, they came in looking very impressive, 12-2, and two, I think. Tough game at Wisconsin, and um, you know, they're a very, very good team. And Pat does a good job with them, and uh, he's got some good players down there. They're going to be talking loud in May, in March. But uh, for us, we just grinded it out. You know, it was a short bench. Um, you know, I thought our offense was a little bit better in the first half, and uh, they kept changing their defenses up. And we had to, uh, you know, adjust to that. But for the most part, our defense saved us. Hey, uh, what do you think of Kadeem's bounce back? 12 points, 11 boards, two shots. High motor. When he's high motor, we, we know what he can do. Um, even um, this wasn't a terrific game for him, and he still gets 12 and 11. If he makes half more of his free throws, he can. Uh, it would have been more than that. But that's his effort, his extension, going for offensive rebounds, his knack to get offensive rebounds. Um, just effort, effort, and want to, you know, play with a high motor. That's what he did. Can you talk a little bit about that defense on Newbill, especially for Mike Williams early on when Newbill was missing from the floor? Yeah, we had different sort of uh, backup plans just in case he got going. But we said, look, let's stay with what's been good for us. Uh, just be very good at it, and we were. Um, and we rebound the ball. They took shots from other people. And uh, so we sort of took some of the ball out of his hands, some possessions, and had other people um, take threes and try to score for them. So, and we got long rebounds. But, you know, he's a good, he's a good player. We had to um, do a great effort on him. Coach, the last game you gave was a tough loss against Northwestern. You said that you were proud of your kids, and you carried that kind of projection into your <coughs> practice. Is that what happened, shown today, that kind of positive attitude for kids? Uh, I don't know what the magic button is sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes you just don't know. You just uh, you speak from the heart, and I spoke from the heart that day. That I was proud of them. They played with high character. If you play defense like that, you hold a team for 11 minutes scoreless. That shows some type of you know willingness to defend, unselfishness, teamwork, camaraderie, toughness. And we thought that that was a good performance, even though we lost. And it sort of carried over. But we, I felt we've been playing like that most of the year. We just have a hard time scoring. 18 hey. points from the paint, um, a lot of them from Kadeem. Was there a focus between last game and this game to kind of get him to move inside a little bit more? Where he no, he did it on his own. You know, he, he did it on his own. He's, he has a knack to get offensive rebounds. You just don't get offensive rebounds because um, there's a method to it. You know, it's just the way you go about what you do and if you want to get it done. Um, so... He just, he also has a great extension. He's long, um, he's thin, he can work around people. He's not such a bully, but he just goes, he, he has a good hop to get there first. So, um, yeah, he has the physical abilities, and, but it comes from the heart to do it. He had a lot of heart tonight. And what's it like to get the program's first Big Ten win? Winning is, uh, it's, losing is misery and winning is a relief. So... We're just going to come to practice on Monday. And, uh, you know, you, sometimes you have to – look, it's great. We had a good time in the locker room. Um, but, you know, you have to show that you expect to win. And we expect to win tonight. One point allowed in the first six minutes held them below 10 points for the first 12 minutes. What are the keys to shutting down a team that effectively? Well, um, some of them – some of it is, you know, you got – they missed some open shots. They, they shot quick, I thought, in the clock. I thought they came in with a uh, like a shootout mentality. That's what my, my thinking. I could be wrong, and I don't want to demean their what they did, what they do, or their strategy. I just thought they took a lot of quick shots, early long shots, and they missed. And they could have made them and shot us out of the building, but they missed, and we fed off of that. And so it was uh, that sort of thing. I thought, but again, our defense was really, really good. Greg Lewis defensively, what kind of effort did he give you tonight? Every night. Every day in practice, every possession in practice in games, he's just you know my heart goes out to him. And he is uh, he, again. I said it before. He's the only player I can say he does everything right every time. In the last minute, Eddie Greg had two seemed like textbook double teams with Newville that helped force you know 
Great possessions for him. Yeah, um, and he guarded the rim. And even when it went, even when Nubo got past our first line of defense, or anybody got past our first line of defense, Greg is there. He's always helping everybody. And every day I said, look, Greg always helps you guys. You have to support Greg. You have to help him when he's helping somebody else until he recovers back to his man. And for the most part, we did it. And you know, we just we, we've embraced this defensive mentality and this defensive presence. And I guess we better because we don't have enough scores. Nebraska is a tough venue to play in. What are you going to do to prepare the guys for going to Lincoln and, and kind of coming off this win? Um, we're going to take a day off tomorrow. And um, I haven't even thought about Nebraska. Um, and obviously, we'll do our work tomorrow. The coaches will. And, um, I don't know. We'll just go about our normal business, you know, practice on Monday, um, watch some tape, um, get better through tape, through practice, and do what we do. I, don't, I haven't watched them yet. We'll get a game plan against Nebraska once we get a, some film breakdown. Hey, you seem a little key that this is the first Big Ten win. Is there no significance to this to you, or are you just trying not to make it a big deal to these guys? Um, again, if you expect to win, then, you know, it's like anything else. I guess it hit me tomorrow morning. Usually it, it means more in the morning when you wake up. Um, but right now, I'm happy for the kids. I'm happy for the program, and we expect to win. We, we just hope that we can keep it going. Have you ever seen the rack like that? And how do you think that atmosphere Have I ever affects? seen the rack like that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, when, yeah. When I've seen the rack, rack a whole lot better than that. <laughs> when was the last time you saw the rack like that? And how do you think uh, it affects it your team? It might have been a 91. Was it 91 Penn State championship game? 89. 89. 89. 89. Yeah, that was awesome. But, you know, when Bob Wenzel, when I was helping Bob Wenzel, it was great. You know, we sold out three years. We had the highest attendance in three years. And it was always electric and it was um, jumping. We had a good team. Yeah, I've seen the rack really jump, in, and we hope to get it that way for the season's out. How much does – I'll just piggyback off that question. How much does the last two games, the atmosphere you guys have had, does it kind of get you – It I mean, It was a good crowd last time. It was better tonight, and hopefully when we play Wisconsin here at our next home game, mm -hmm. uh, I hope it's filled to the rafters, and we can play very, very well. Thank you. Thank okay. you.